the R parse module helps us with the developing small utilities we invoke from the command line, the terminal, passing over arguments, flags, and so on. Here in this code sample, first start with uh, creating uh, an ob a new object from the argument parser object, and then I invoke add argument uh, for three possible arguments it will be possible to pass over to this utility when calling it from the command line well here I specify the argument dash dash upper we can pass over and if we pass over then later when we call the parse args method on the argument parser object the object we get will include an attribute that its name equ is equivalent to the text we specify over here and its value will be true if indeed that argument was passed over this is thanks for specifying that we want the action parameter to be assigned with uh, this uh, specific string meaning that if we pass over dash dash upper to this uh, program then upper attribute will be assigned with true otherwise it will be assigned with uh, false over here we specify two more arguments unlike this argument which is an optional one these two arguments must be provided these are the two names of two files the first is the file from which we want to copy and the second is the file to which we want to write what we copy from the first file so we first instantiate argument parser and then calling the add argument or there are a few other functions we can invoke on that argument parser object we eventually get an argument parser object that describes exactly which arguments uh, we want to allow passing over when executing this uh, program when calling parse args we get an object an object with uh, attributes their names are the names of those uh, arguments we specified over here so we can expect having uh, from underscore file to underscore file and upper this is in this case of this optional argument because of these two dashes it means it is an optional one so over here I read everything from the first file and if upper is true I turns uh, the, the text the letters the characters are turned into uppercase if not data remains unchanged and here data is written to the other file so let's give it a try let's open the terminal and let's execute command 1.py py and then let's don't specify dash dash upper so the content of a.txt will be copied to b.txt and here you can find b.txt and you can see that both files include the same text now let's delete b.txt and let's do the same just that now we will specify the optional argument dash dash upper and now if we check b.txt we will see the same text just uh, uppercase